Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Dara and today we're singing Tales of the Sea about all the creatures that live in the sea and the vessels, the ships that sail on the sea. And I need you to help me with our first song. It's called Sailing to the Sea. It's by Tom Chapin and we've got some hand motions to do. So the first thing we see on the sea is the wind in a sailboat and the wind goes whoosh. Can you do that? Can you make that sound and move your arms? Whoosh. Good. The next thing that we see bobbing in the water to warn the sailors is a buoy. And the buoy goes ding, ding. And we'll be taking our finger and going ding, ding. But I want to show you, I brought another instrument that sounds like a bell on the buoy. Do you know what this is called? It's a triangle. And it's easy to remember because it's shaped like a triangle. And that's the sound that the bell on the buoy makes. It goes ding, ding. So you're going to, unless you have a triangle at home, you're going to put up your finger and go ding, ding, and make that sound. The next thing, we have a car on the bridge. And the horn on the car, you know what that makes. It goes beep, beep. Do that with me. Beep, beep. And then over the bridge on the tracks, we have a train. And the train on the tracks, we need to put out our train arms. The train goes click giddy clack, click giddy clack. You do click giddy clack, click giddy clack. Good job. And the last thing way out on the ocean is a great big ship, an ocean liner. And the captain has a very loud horn that warns all the other ships away that the big ocean liner is coming and the horns on the ocean liner sounds like this. You do that with me. And the last thing the captain does is have the crew lower the anchor. It keeps the ship in one place overnight and all the crew goes to sleep. Show me how the captain and the crew sleep. I think I snore. <laughs> and those are all the sounds that we need to make for sailing to the sea. Come sail with me on the river Where the wind in the sail goes Whoosh, the wind in the sail goes Whoosh, we'll hear the wind in the sail go whoosh, gently rocking, riding, rolling, sailing to the sea. Come sail with me on the river where the bell on the buoy goes ding ding. The bell on the buoy goes ding ding. We'll hear the bell on the buoy go ding ding. The wind Gently rocking, riding, rolling, sailing to the sea. Come sail with me on the river, where the cars on the bridge go beep, beep. The cars on the bridge go beep, beep. We'll hear the cars on the bridge go beep, beep. The bell. Gently rocking, riding, rolling, sailing to the sea. Come sail with me on the river, where the train on the tracks goes clickety-clack, clickety-clack. The train on the tracks goes clickety-clack. We'll hear the train on the tracks go clickety-clack, clickety-clack.
the ocean liner goes. Ooh, we'll hear the ocean liner go. Ooh, the train on the tracks go clickety clack, clickety clack. The cars on the bridge go beep beep. The bell on the buoy go ding ding. The wind in the sail go whoosh, gently rock. How the crew all sleeps. We'll anchor in the deep and dream of gently rocking, riding, rolling, sailing to the sea. What kind of waves do you like at the beach? Do you like little tiny waves that you can stand in without getting knocked down? Do you like medium waves? that you can swim in? Or do you like great big waves? Well, let's make your favorite wave with your arms. These, I like the medium ones. These are my favorite. What about you? Let's make some waves. Here is the sea, the wavy sea. And here is my boat. Can you make a boat with your arms like that? That's it. And here is me. And all the little fishies, the sign for fish looks like this. Put out one hand, touch your fingers to the palm, and wiggle those two hands. All the little fishies down below wiggle their tails and away they go. Let's try that rhyme again. Shake out your hands. Show me your favorite waves again. Here is the sea, a wavy sea, and here is my boat. And here is me. And all the little fishies down below wiggle their tails and away they go. Well, we're getting ready to take a little rowboat out on the sea. I think the waves are very little today. And we'll see if the fish can come swimming with us. So let's get our oars ready to row our boat. Or if you'd like, maybe you have a friend or a grown-up with you. If you do, you can row together like this. You can both sit on the floor facing each other and hold hands with your partner. So you'll take each of their hands in yours. And then when one goes back, the other goes forward. You can row like that. Now, if it's just you, or if you want to row by yourself, you can grab your oars and start rowing that boat, just like that. Here we go. get very far if we're just in a rowboat today. Maybe we need a motorboat, something with an engine vroom, that we can turn on. Get ready to roll your arms. We'll start off slowly and then we'll get very fast and we'll make our engine go really fast. Are you ready? Let's start off slow and roll our arms. Motorboat, motorboat, go so slow. Mother boat, mother boat, go so fast. Mother boat, mother boat, step on the gas. Brum, 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 and cut the engine. Let's look around. Put the anchor down. Oh, I think I see some fish under the sea. They're all wiggling their tails and swimming around. Let's make some fish with our hands like we did before. All the fish are swimming in the water and then we'll make some bubbles like this. Bubble, 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 bubble and clap your hands for a great big splash. Let's try that with some music. Show me your fishy hands. Here we go. All the fish are swimming Swimming in the water, all the fish are swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 splash! Oh, 
That wasn't a very big splash, was it? Maybe we can find another sea creature that might make a bigger splash. Maybe somebody who likes to leap and swim with the children. Oh, hi there. Yes. Oh, what? I don't speak dolphin. Do you speak dolphin? Oh, oh I think he's saying he's happy to be here with everybody. He's going to leap in the water and swim with the children. Dolphins are very friendly guys. And when they flop their flippy tail, they make a slightly bigger splash than those little fish did, right? Yes, okay. Ready to do some leaping? Here we go. Boys and girls, take your arms. Show me how those dolphins leap. All the dolphins leaping in the water. Splash, but I'm wondering what creature could make the biggest splash of all. Maybe the biggest creature in the ocean. Do you know what that is? I think it's a whale. And when whales, well, when they flop their flippy tail, boom, they get everybody wet. Let's get our great big whale arms out and let's make some whale splashes. Here we go. I've ever seen. Oh, I hope that splashed and scare away all the little fishies because I brought my fishing pole today. I've got a worm on the end. Fish love worms. And I'm going to cast my fishing pole into the ocean and let's see if the fish are biting today. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. Drake, uh, honey, said the itty bitty duck to the big old Drake, babe. Said the duck now to the Drake, you ain't gonna catch no fish in this lake, honey, baby mine. You get a line and I'll get pull, oh honey. You get a line and I'll get pull, babe. I caught one. I caught a big one. It was this big. Ah, uh, that's usually a fish story. Nobody says that their fish are little teeny tiny ones that they catch, right? I'm a great big fish and I like to swim. Here is my tail and here are my fins. When I want to have some fun with my I wiggle my tail and I dive right in. Lots of little fish were sleeping on a rock in the bottom of the ocean. And they lifted up their heads and they shook out their tails and they said, hey, let's go swimming. Women. 
women close to home. He got caught, and now we have none. There are lots of other creatures in the sea and on the shore, and not all of them have a tail like the fishies do. Here's one creature who does not. Do you know what this is called? It's a starfish. I'm a starfish in the sea. Take a closer look at me and you will see five legs on me. One, two, three, four, five. Can you stretch out your fingers and pretend your hands are starfish? They're swimming in the sea, bobbing along with wherever the waves will take them. Another creature that lives in the sea is, well, it looks like a horse. It looks a little bit like this. This is not a real one, but we call them a seahorse because he looks like his head is a horse's head. But he has a long tail just like this, and he swims in the sea. Now, I have a real one on the beach, and here's a picture of that one. But I brought my pretend one today so you could see a little better what it looks like. And one book that I'd like to point out, you may want to take this out of your library, Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Everything I know about seahorses I learned from this Eric Carl book. And what I like about it, I'm not going to read it to you today, but I wanted to show you. It's actually the daddy seahorses that take care of all the baby seahorses. And every couple of pages has, oh, animals, sea creatures camouflaging the hide under the sea. Look at that. They're playing peekaboo, I guess. So here's some fish hiding. Here's another sea creature hiding. Can you see where he is? Not until I move the page away. I think that's a zebra fish. No, it's a lion fish. I wonder if he roars. And here he is in camouflage so that other creatures can't find him. But that goes on all through the book, and we learn about all the daddies that take care of their babies under the sea. So let's do this. Let's make our hand be the head of a seahorse, just like that, and our arm can be his body and his tail, and we'll have our seahorse arms swim in the sea. Another creature that lives in the sea looks like this, looks like a seashell, but really, oh, hello, oh, it's home to a sea creature. It's a little clam, and inside, oh, he's looking at you, there's a clam. Reminds me of Cookie Monster with his blue eyes, blue googly eyes. Oh, oh, goodbye. And there he goes, wherever the waves take him, that's where he goes in his little shell home. He likes to play peekaboo, just like that. And when he's not feeling so social, he clams up and the waves take him away. Now, whenever I go to the beach, I can see all these things. I can see shells and fish and all the creatures in the sea. And I like to bring my beach bag with everything that I need. So the first thing I have, I can't go to the beach without my sunglasses, right? Now oh, that's better. It's a bright day out. Let's see what else is in my bag. Oh, got my sun hat. There we go. I've got my towel. I can spread this out on the sand. And if I go in the water, I can dry off with it. What else is in here? Oh, one more thing. I got my lotion so I don't get a sunburn. I can rub that on 
right? We want to rub it on our arms and on our nose and anywhere else so we don't get a burn in the sun. Some days when I'm at the beach, I like to make a sandcastle at the shore and I hope that the waves don't wash it away as the tide comes in. Well, our book today is called Sea, Sand, Me, and it's by Patricia Hubble. Pack up our beach bags, load up the car, we're going to the beach, and here we are. Are. Flippy floppy sun hat, wiggly waggly toes, mommy rubbing lotion on my nose, nose, nose. Pail and shovel, dig, 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 jump in dolly, jump in pig. Beach day, beach day, sun, sand, sea. Gulls squawk, squawking, talking just to me. Somebody's coming, a spoon in his hand. We make a giant castle in the scritchy, scratchy sand. Seashell toenails, seaweed hair, lifeguard laughing in his great tall chair. Sand in our belly buttons, sand in our pants. We jump in the water and we dance, dance, dance. We jump, jump, jump in the curly, whirly wave. Cold water doesn't scare us, cause we're brave, brave, brave. Beach day, beach day, sea, sand, Wee! My friend and I are splashing in the swishy, swashy sea. Lunchtime, lunchtime, cookies, lemonade. We flop on our blankets in the shade, shade, shade. We climb on the rocks, see a starfish on a stone, a little minnow swimming and a big fish bone. We bounce our beach ball, put shells in our pails, and wave at a boat with the big red sails. And the wind in the sails goes whoosh. Shadows on the sand now, sun is hanging low. We pack up our beach bags, home we go. Beach day, beach day, wish we could stay. I hope I see my friend on the next beach day. And that's the book called Sea, Sand, Me. Now, we have one rule in my family when we're getting in the car to ride home or if we're going inside our house from the beach. And that rule is no sand in the car and no sand in the house. So we use our towel and we brush the sand off our arms. Sometimes I remember to bring baby powder and we can help brush the sand off with that. Sometimes they have little showers at the beach and you can pull the cord and wet your toes and get all the sand off that way. And other times you just have to shake, shake, shake until all the sand is off. I think the best way to get the sand off is to shake, shake, shake. Let's shake our sillies out. Back on, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, shake, shake, shake my sillies out, wiggle my waggles away. I gotta clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, clap, clap, clap my crazies out, wiggle my waggles away. You ready to do a little jumping? I gotta jump, jump, 
pollens grow back to my home. I dare not go, for if I did, my mother would say, Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Where the watermelons grow Back to my home I dare not go For if I did My mother would say Did you ever see a shark Swimming in the dark Down by the bay Baby shark Well, Baby Shark has gotten pretty famous, but before Baby Shark, there was Baby Beluga, a little baby whale, who's actually pretty big to begin with when you think of how big Mama Whale is, right? Well, the sun is sinking down on the horizon and all the little sea babies are swimming home for the night. Oh, the starfish babies are sleeping now over the hills and far away, safe in the water of sin. Baby, 
Until it's morning time 